Hello, and welcome to this guide on integrating quotes from your sources. To make the content of this video more accessible, click the closed captions button or adjust the playback speed. In this video, we will discuss the purpose of quotations, when to use quotations, and how to integrate quotations seamlessly into your writing. You may have wondered why writers decide to use quotations in their writing. Quotations, or quotes, represent the exact language borrowed from a source, either written or spoken. Quotes are used in writing as evidence supporting your main point and can be an impactful way to give your writing authority. So how do writers decide where to put quotes in the body of their paper? Quotes should be used sparingly. They may be used when a writer needs to express the voice of an authority on the topic, precise language to enhance reader understanding, and vivid language that may be lost in a paraphrase. If paraphrasing or summarizing the material removes any of these three things, the quote is essential. When integrating quotes, be sure they blend with the writing around them. Quotes should never be dropped into the body of your paper without a connection to your writing. Writers use signal phrases to create a transition between their writing and the quoted material and to let the reader know that the material comes from an outside source. APA style signal phrases give the last name of your source followed by the year of publication in parentheses and a past tense verb which gives context to the borrowed information. MLA style is similar, however, it uses a present tense verb. Let's examine an APA style signal phrase. Strickler declared, now is the time for those lacking conviction to bow out quietly. To create the signal phrase, the writer has put the author and your publication together, used the quotation marks to identify the exact words of the author, included a page number in the parentheses immediately following the quote, and placed the period after the parentheses. The final step to seamlessly integrating a quote is to offer an analysis or explanation of your quote, connecting it to the main point of your paragraph or paper, as in the following example. Here's another example of a quote that ends with a sentence of analysis. Personification is used to illustrate nature as its own character in the story. Valiant, the author, writes, like Tolkien's ints, the trees of the Northwest have been marching up and down the coast for eons fleeing southward with each ice age and reclaiming lost territory as the glaciers recede. We are left with the visions of the trees as soldiers, never giving up the fight. Notice how the writer has sandwiched the quote between two explanations connecting it to the larger paper. To wrap up this video, we discussed the purpose of quotations, when to use quotations, and integrating quotations into your writing. For more academic support resources, read this video's description. Thank you for watching. We hope to work with you soon.